Whenever we explore a teacher of the earth, a psychedelic or an external substance, I consciously intend to treat it like a classroom. And like all classrooms, we must pay attention in order for us to graduate and move on to the next level of knowledge and understanding. I don't condone the use of any substance. I'm only telling stories of my experiences back then. Hey YouTube, welcome to Artists of Life. My name is Paris and this is a place for me to be myself and thrive in an environment where I can be myself. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Um, yeah, this is a place for me to be me. And if you're a returning subscriber, then hi, welcome back. So my first experience with cannabis, it was with a cookie. It was like a snickerdoodle cookie and it was at my, my friend's place and his house was also very extremely active. I was doing it with two other people my friends, I'm going to call them Kyle and Ashley. Now to give you a little bit of a background um, with substances prior to this experience, I used to be extremely closed off to the concept of utilizing any kind of external substance for anything. I used to be very judgmental about it, um, psychedelics to even just cannabis. This was one of the instances in my life, and this happened like three years ago, uh, this is one of the instances in my life that I decided, you know what, I'm going to be open to this and I'm going to see what it does. Like, what is this thing that people always talk about? Cannabis, being high, what is that? So I tried it. Now going into the experience, my mentality going into it, it's always with the conscious intention to expand myself to understand and study consciousness, to understand these altered states of being. Prior to me diving into this world of using external substances to connect to spirit, um, consciously, I've had a lot of profound experiences naturally through meditation and astral projection. So this was a pretty new experience for me. The first time I got high, I got super high. But I could recognize all the stages of the experience as well. When I first took it, I could start feeling the body high. I could feel it in my fingers, going out in my toes and my feet and my calves and my knees and all that set, all that stuff, head, shoulders, knees and toes. One of the things psychologically that I started to notice was that I started to not be able to complete my sentences. I would have a, a stream of thought and then it would just cut off very quickly, very abruptly. I was like, I would think in one line and then be like, ur, 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 ur. what the hell is going on? Then I started to find everything Funny, I remember looking at my friend and just looking at him for what felt like a long time, it was probably a few seconds, and I had the strong urge to just be like, I, I really wanted to dive into his face for some reason. <laughs> what was interesting was that I could recognize the shifts, and when I had the shift, I'd be like, this is what's happening. I'm losing my train of thought. Hold on to train of thought, hold on to train of thought. Keep my thought pattern in specific train of thought. Don't get distracted. That's how I would talk and the people around me were just kind of looking at me like, whoa, like, how are you doing that? <laughs> From there, I started getting higher and higher and then I started to feel energy. The two other people that I was with, um, I could feel all of our energy, like this little, I was in a ball of energy and then they were in balls of energy and all of our energy was just like mixing and mingling. It was like tentacle energies and we were just like, <laughs> it was very interesting. And also I began to move. Now I'm a dancer, so this was the first time I danced high. This was the first time that I danced really high. And also mind you, to this day, I don't really smoke cannabis that much either. I also have a heart condition, so I like to not put smoke in my body. I started dancing and I began to like feel every little piece of my body. Like I could isolate it in very intricate motions and it was super cool because I began to understand how some of my friends dance. Because I have a lot of dancer friends and they dance high all the time. A lot of people do stuff like on cannabis all the time around me. I'm just around it. And from this experience I was able to kind of understand why they move the way they do. It just kind of gives you that much more awareness of your body if you're moving in that way to music. Music sounded much brighter. Music much more easily put me into a trance and I felt that it definitely alters the way that my mind understands things. When all this stuff was happening to you, again, like I was wary of it. I was like, my mind is doing this or my body is doing this. 
I can explore this, I can keep going with this, I can do this, but I was vocally communicating it. That's kind of what I like to do whenever I go into any kind of experience utilizing a substance, I'll document and I'll share and I'll really try to learn and understand what is happening aloud, both for myself and for the people around me, if there are people around me. But even then, if I'm by myself, I'll probably be talking to myself out loud. My friend Kyle, I really loved the sound of his voice. His voice just sounded so soothing to me and it was like, whoa, like your voice sounds like ASMR right now. My friend Ashley, she does martial arts and she's trained in a lot of different types of martial arts. And we started kind of sparring a little bit. And again, I'm super high, body high, all that stuff. And it's like, I could feel the movement of energy like around. And Typically, even when I'm sober, like I'm very sensitive to energy, but this definitely opened my consciousness to experiencing energy in a, like a heightened way. When we were doing this, it's kind of like Tai Chi movement and uh, Wing Chun, sticky hands, that's what it's called. When we were doing this, I could, what's, what's the word for it? I can kind of tell what she was going to do next. It was like purely a dance because I could actually feel her energetic movements, her energetic intentions with where we were going with our sparring. And if like I tried to punch her or if she tried to punch me, it's like I would be able to easily move it around. And yeah, that was really fun. And I just kept getting higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. As I talk about it, more information starts coming back to me too. It was a cannabis cookie, so it was pretty potent. I would say it was pretty potent. For the first time I ever got high, it was pretty potent. Again, the whole time I was just be like everything that I'm saying, the way I'm articulating it now is very similar to how I was articulating it when I was going through the experience. I wanted to, I'd be like, remember, like stay conscious or keep my train of thought. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> like if I noticed my mind going into a direction where I didn't have control, I'd just be like, control, 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 control. Remember, remember. Um, Stay focused, focus, focus, focus. These are things that I do whenever I'm under an external substance and I want to pay attention. And there's a balance of this. There's lessons to be learned in letting go and allowing the experience to take over. But if you can't remember what happens in these experiences, then I feel that it loses its practicality. And for me, whenever I go into any kind of experience, I go in with the intention to find practical reasons for why it's useful for me in my life going out of it. That's just how I personally work. And that's a brief gist of the experience. That's all I can remember it from it anyway. Maybe more things will pop up, but I just want to tell the story quickly. And, um, if, and if anyone has any questions or comments, please leave them down below because it'll probably help activate my memory a little bit more. But yeah, that was my first cannabis experience. I have a second one where I threw up and I was actually interacting with crystals and that was a very interesting experience as well. What the second experience did was it kind of made me face my belief systems extremely fast. It was like I was overcoming barrier after barrier after barrier extremely quickly. I was understanding why I was doing certain things within my life, but I was overcoming it so quickly to where it, it was just, it was very violent, like violent consciousness expansion. And I felt like I was imploding on myself, but that's a story for another time. Thank you guys for watching all of my love to you who continue to watch these videos. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. It also supports me in continuing to tell these stories. And that's pretty much it for this video. Have a good day. Peace out.